History of Saria. The last town to be annexed to Barcelona hides a rural past, as a village sheltered from the industrialization that took over the rest of the plain of Barcelona. This itinerary takes a look at Saria's rural identity, reflected in old farmhouses like the Casa Orlandai or the remains of agricultural colonies like Can Canet. Saria's town square, the Plaza de Saria, is at the centre of its neighbours' identities. It was the site of social revolts during the 19th century and is still the centre of social, political and religious life in the village. Our older neighbours still recall the Plaza de Saria, full of stands selling fruits, vegetables and meat, as well as the dairy with its stables in Pedralbes. Over the years, used booksellers and antiques fairs have taken their place. This route travels through time and space, proceeding down Saria's main street, the Carre Mayor de Saria, and stopping in 1869 when the train reached the town. This sparked a social transformation in Saria. When the walls of Barcelona were torn down, the bourgeoisie took the opportunity to flee the overpopulated city. Saria soon became a place for the wealthy to summer. Here they were closer to nature, and the climate was much healthier than that of Barcelona. The resulting boom in construction also brought tradesmen to Saria. These new arrivals set up shop along the Carré Major de Saria, which soon became a lively commercial street, filled with businesses like Antigua Casa Rafael, Mota Mattress Shop, Saria Bakery, Casa Joana, El Foch de Saria, or Bar Tomas, which remain open, witnesses to the history of the neighborhood. <laughs>